Here we go again, back out on the trail, riding solo today, off to scout another potential camping spot back in one of my favourite places, the Galloway Forest. Is it Galloway? Is it Scotland? Or is it Canada? Absolutely stunning. Look at the lock over there as well. Ooh, just lovely. So I've got a whole day of bog treading, but the reward at the end, I reckon is gonna be spectacular. If I can get a few flat spots to camp, the views are gonna be incredible. So let's see if we can get there and let's see if we can find any spots. So that's where we're going, right up to that peak. I've come along a pretty off-road boggy bit. No signs of human footprints, which is always nice. Making your own trail while not ruining the place, following some of the deer trails and uh, already seen a deer jumping around, which is lovely. Don't get to see deer while Aaron's here because he's so noisy. But uh, we're, we're almost at the foot of the hill. Then we got to find our way up it, try and find a good route. Got a bit of a better view of it now. So hopefully we can find a nice route up the side of it. Let's do this. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. It's a tough old hike up here uh, with a full backpack. Definitely would need a lot of stops because my legs are feeling it. But the views are starting to pay off. You can just start to see the, the peaks of the hills in the distance at almost every angle. So we're getting close, probably another 150 meters to the top. That's a false summit. Um, and then the views are just gonna be mind blowing. And there's actually still some snow up on some of the peaks uh, from the mad bit of weather we had a couple of weeks back. It is now the 13th of May. <laughs> Still snow in Galloway Forest. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's do this. So I reckon I found camp spot number one if the wind's a bit too wild. So I've got a lovely flat spot here, sheltered by the hills from some uh, wind and you wake up and that'll be your view. It's not too shabby, is it? I could do with that. Got water source at different spots all around. Pretty decent. All right, pushing to the top. Made it. Up to the top, got to the can and the views are unreal. <laughs> I'll get a shot of the views for you. Coming down the hill, so I'm gonna go back to the car, drive along a bit and check out another potential camp spot. Um, which is right next to a river, maybe a potential wild swimming spot, which would be lovely. But I want to show you something very quintessentially Scottish. Hasn't rained for a good few days, it's been quite dry, hence the landscape. But <laughs> I'm halfway down a hill and from somewhere there's a river running. Look at that. It is not unusual to hear running water and you're wondering where in the world is that coming from? But <laughs> Scotland and water go together well. <laughs> Even better example.
that's well over half my hiking pole just <laughs> in the middle of nowhere <laughs> ah, happy days So the river is an ankle breaker. It's not going to be possible to <laughs> camp there. Uh, went up as far as I could, but there's no way with a giant backpack and a group that you're getting up there. But the stream is beautiful, lovely spot to visit. I'm off home, back at the car. Mm, cheeky sherbet for the road. Whew, time to get home, get a shower and Maybe a spot of Lucozade and of course, a cup of tea.